Hi, this is Rachel Goklosky, cooking with Mrs. G, and here we are with quite a lot of wild lettuce or spiny lettuce, Lactuca verosa, also called opium lettuce. This is the same lettuce species used by the ancient Egyptians to help with when they ran out of opium. Um, it used for its incredible pain relieving and sedative properties. It's very helpful with coughs, um, you know, in place of opioids for coughs and asthma, for insomnia. So let's go over this plant. This is a wild lettuce again, and it has many, many yellow flowers. Sometimes you find wild lettuces that have lots of flowers like this, but they're not yellow, they're purple. Um, notice here that we've got yellow petals. It's kind of hard to see. It's nighttime, so these are they're not quite opening yet. But this is when you want to harvest them, when they're opening. It's just starting to flower because that is when, that's when the milky white latex is the most luminous here so let's try there you go so notice that the lettuce is giving you a milky white latex not a yellow latex that's really important now let's look at the underside of the leaf which has one of the best key identifiers here notice the underside of the leaf midrib and how it has let's let it focus very spiny spines there we go now you can see all along that midrib that's really really important key identifier it has to have that okay we've got a serrated leaf edge the edges of the leaves the outermost edge is sort of blunt kind of rounded off and a serrated edge and as you look down the stalk there's even some spines on the stalk and the stalk gets very woody toward the bottom. Let's look at a few more of these plants. Okay, let's identify this even further. You've got very spiny toward the bottom again, and then a lot of offshoots. It's extremely woody, and you almost kind of need a little bit of a saw to get it off at the bottom. These can grow up to seven feet tall. So what you do with this plant is you take it home and you dry it. All that precious latex inside the plant needs to be dried. And then you can make um, all kinds of things from the dried plant. You can make tinctures. Some people will um, go through this long extraction process until they get like a black paste and that is supposedly extremely potent. Some people smoke the leaves for a high. I don't know if I would recommend that. I can vouch for its sedative and pain relieving properties. And you can make teas. And what I do is I make teas and tinctures from this. But you have to dry it first. To dry the whole plant, you collect the whole aerial part of the plant, let it dry, chop it up, and you can make your medicines from there and there is no known you know serious drug interactions except for i would not recommend taking opium lettuce or lactuca verosa or seriola i would not recommend taking it if you're already on um, some sedatives and antidepressants All right this is rachel gokloski cooking with mrs g you can find me on facebook instagram etsy and of course on youtube